Have you ever wondered how easily hackers can break into accounts or why your strong password might not be as secure as you think? Welcome to our ethical password cracking demonstration. I'm about to show you exactly how password cracking works using real hacking tools. But here's the twist. We are doing this ethically to teach you how to protect yourself. By the end of this video, you will understand why password securing matters and how to create truly secure password that can withstand these attacks. Let's dive in. We will demonstrate password cracking using John the Ripper and Hashcat on Kali Linux to show why password security is crucial. So first of all, we need to head over to Kali Linux. For those who don't have Kali Linux running already, if you check at the top of the screen, you'll see a link to the installation of Kali Linux, or you can just check the ethical hacking basic playlist. You'll see a Kali Linux installation tutorial. For those who have already, we can go directly into the project. First of all, open your terminal in Kali Linux and you will run the following commands. So the first command we will run is, you need to run mkdir, which stands for make directory, the Linux command to create a new directory. And we'll name the directory password underscore demo. And we are going to cd into this directory we are creating right now. First of all, run mkdir, password underscore demo, and hit enter. And you can run cd password underscore demo, which is the directory you just created. And you will, the, your directory will change to the new directory you created. Once you're inside, you're ready for the next command. We are starting with a clean state to ensure no conflict with previous experiment that I did. This is like setting up our ethical hacking lab. So whatever steps you see me following in this video, follow the same steps. Now that we have created our directory, we need to uh, like create password list that we need to hash, right? Because we are trying to create a lab and then we will demonstrate what we do. Uh, password cracking on the, the same lab that we have created this is for educational purposes remember so this is the same process an attacker will use if they see a hash password or a password they need to use a tool like john the Ripper to crack so follow the same steps as i go on so now you need to run these commands on your screen we're going to go through the commands one after another if you paste this command i'm going to uh, put a link to where all these commands will be or i might just put them in the video description to make work easy for you if you see the command says cat greater than wordlist.txt with two lesser than signs single code eof single code to explain these commands we have cat you see the first command that says cat what list this create a new file and you see the greater than signs this is a direct way of inputting you know uh, information into the file like below the the first command you can see password one two three admin and the rest these are the passwords we want to you know uh, use them for sample for the purpose of this video so the cat word list command with the greater and less than signs create a new file and input the following text that comes below and the eof that's like it's a syntax for multi-line input to make them on multiple lines like you see them on your screen right so you just need to run the command exactly like you see it on your screen this is our dictionary of common password in real attacks hackers use lists with millions of common passwords like rocku.txt and many others notice how these are common passwords that people use every day so after running these commands or after you copy this command just paste in your terminal and hit enter Next, I'm going to run these commands, these four different commands to generate MD5 hashes. So the first command we have here, I'll run this. I'll, the command will be on your screen so that you can follow up with me. Note that you don't expect any result after running these commands. So run the commands separately. There are four commands and you are not going to see any result, but they are going to generate MD5 hashes. To perfectly explain these commands, the echo hyphen N prints without a new line. That's crucial for correct hashing. Then we have the MD5 uh, sum, pipe output for MD5 hashing algorithm. We have the cut hyphen D and the hyphen F1. This extract only the hash and remove the file name. And the greater than sign, like I said previously, create a new file with the two other less than signs that append to the existing file already. So this is just what this command does. If you understand this command from what I've just explained, you will understand how it generates these MD5 uh, hashes. Let's move to the next command, which is to verify our files. So what we are doing is we are actually converting the password to MD5 hashes. This is how passwords are stored in most databases. The scary part is MD5 is extremely fast to crack, which is why it's considered insecure today. Next, we are going to run these commands to verify our files. Just run this command on your screen. When you run the command on your screen, you're going to see this. You can see the word list, the passwords, and you see the hashes, right? I'm highlighting the hashes right now, and these are the passwords up okay. here. So we are on track going to go ahead and run our first attack which is a dictionary attack by dictionary attack we are going to run this command john hyphen hyphen format equal to raw hyphen md5 
hyphen hyphen word list equal to word list dot txt and hashes dot txt this is how the command will be now let me explain the command john invoke john the reaper right hyphen hyphen format equals to raw hyphen md5 specify the md5 hash format and we have the hyphen hyphen word list equals to word list dot txt this uses our password dictionary and we have hashes dot txt which is the target the target file with the hash to crack so you should run this command for a dictionary attack just go ahead and hit enter after trying to crack the password with John the Reaper, we got this result. We, have, we got four passwords, which is password123, admin, let me, and hello123. Now, we need to see the hashes that has been cracked. You can see the password has been cracked. John the Reaper has succeeded to give you the password, which is what the attacker wants. But as an ethical hacker or a cybersecurity specialist, you want to go deep to know the exact hash that has been cracked, right? For you to know that, you need to run this other command. If you look down, you will see zero password hashes cracked, eight left. So we still have eight password left, but we have four cracked. So let's look at the one that has been cracked. Now, if you run this command on my screen, they're going to show you the password that has been hacked. If I hit enter now, now you see the four hashes that has been cracked, right? These are the four hashes here, and we have the four passwords here. Before we round up, we are going to use one other popular tool again known as Hashcard for comparison. So you can just run these commands on my screen to see if we'll be able to crack the password we have just used during the report to, to, to hash. We're going to use Hashcard this time to see if we can we can compare with what we have done with John the Reaper. Just run these commands on your screen. You can see Hashcard did not take up to a minute to crack everything. So this is how you can use John the Reaper or Hashcard to you know hash uh, passwords or for any for any project you need to to hash or crack a password these are the tools i would recommend john the reaper is my first choice why i have hash cut like the, the second choice there are so many other tutorials we're going to create on these same tools this was just for you to have a clear mind on how you can actually crack hash passwords if you love this video and want me to create more videos on cyber security and ethical hacking don't forget to smash the subscribe button hit the like button and the notification button so that whenever i drop a video you will be notified and do not forget this is for ethical purposes only do not test this on devices web applications that you do not own i'll see you in the next video